Yeah, and we're here at the base right now of Whistler Mount, which of course opened uh, just over a week ago. And Blackcomb, as we know, opens tomorrow. So coming up next, we're going to find out what both skiers and non-skiers can expect to enjoy this coming season. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Yeah, you know, the skiers were out in full force yesterday. It was such a beautiful day out here, Lauren, yesterday here in Whistler. And of course, uh, Whistler Mountain has already been open for well over a week. And I Blackcomb is getting ready for everybody as well. Yeah, we're really excited. We're going to get Blackcomb rolling tomorrow on November 28th. Um, and it's going to have about 700 acres of skiable terrain open for our guests. And that will complement the 1,000 acres we have open on Whistler. So a lot of ski area for guests to enjoy. And we've got some footage that we're going to be rolling right now. It is truly spectacular for anyone who's never skied Blackcomb. Uh, it's a favorite among snowboarders especially. Yeah, I have heard that snowboarders tend to prefer Blackcomb just because it's a little bit cons more consistently steeper than Whistler is. But both mountains are incredible and have their own personalities and everybody has a favorite. Definitely. And it certainly is beautiful up here right now. Now, what if someone doesn't ski? I know there's people that, you know, maybe go, ah, that's not for me. I'm more about the apre. But what can they do? Well, they can head up the mountain uh, starting tomorrow as well to check out the peak to peak gondola. And that sightseeing experience is incredible. And you get the same 360 degree views of the Alpine and the Garibaldi Park that the skiers and snowboarders get. So it's definitely worth taking a look. How wonderful. Well, you can make your way here, of course, to uh, well, not only Whistler Mountain, but Blackcomb. Oh, opening tomorrow. By the way, they're back at the station. Coming up in the next segment, we're actually going to tell you about a couple of new chairs that they've got coming here to the mountains as well. So again, for more details on Blackcomb, you can go to their website.